Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader. The man will be calling the plays under center. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said, he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 36 yards on the play. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Wilson with a first down carry. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. Another good carry there for the NFL's second leading rusher, and we've talked on air, off air, about his MVP candidacy. Make a case for him. But I'm just going to tell you point blank, it doesn't matter whether he's first or second or even third in the league in rushing yardage. That's not the main deal. It's how he gets those yards and the impact he has on his ball play. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, competition comes up in so many different ways. And right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Second and 13. And the pressure gets to him again. We call that sack look. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. On the draw, it's Wilson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And they will be let out by their 6'4 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. 
He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, said he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. Yeah. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. To throw, White, throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. So they go pass on third and two. They complete it, but no gain. Should they have tried to run it? I thought that running the ball in that situation is what they would have done because at worst case scenario, you may bring up a fourth down decision for your team. Instead, now they're not close to the first down. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff race. Now, this is end of the weekend in the NFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They clinch the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seed? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. The first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Second down, this is Wilson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Looking to throw. Spencer. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Just the first quarter of attack thing going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, 
they want to see in this game as well. On first and ten, Spencer. That's complete to his running back, Wilson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Second and 11. Now they go screen, it's complete. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals go. move the chains. Here we go. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. They'll run. Here's Wilson. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. And the quarterback, he's got some big threats at wideout. And they seem to get bigger all the time, don't they, Brandon? Every time I look out and watch a game, we're getting these bigger, more athletic, acrobatic receivers. We have some today. Looking to throw on second down. Spencer. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 22-yard line. Throwing on first down. Spencer. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now a look at the defensive starters here for the Steelers. They were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking one through the post. Well done. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing again, Spencer. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Last week, a strong showing, up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now White. Wide open receiver complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 
No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Second down. Looking to throw on second down. Right. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Do you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up and run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Here's White on third down. And he will find Davis, that's complete. And he can't quite get there, tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Here's White to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now White. Now White lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. On the ground, the drive starts with Wilson. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. A gain of three, second down. To throw on second down. Spencer, it's caught by Davis. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can... Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the
the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They run a draw here on second down. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Out of the gun, it's White. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Now a field goal forthcoming for the Steelers. This from 54 yards away. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Second and six. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Back to throw. Spencer looking left side. He's got it complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the ground, it's Wilson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Looking to throw on second down. Spencer. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Looking to throw. Spencer. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 37. <laughs> And this one is right through. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. 
No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. That's what they needed. It's an eight yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. From the gun on third down, White. This one caught by Davis. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. All right, we get slap happy up here sometimes. To throw again on second down, White. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. White looks to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10, White. He'll get this one complete to Davis. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. White completes it to Davis. And he'll go down at the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. On first down, it's White. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll begin our tour up at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, where it was the Browns who were winners in that one at home. The Bengals are down to their final three games if they want to salvage a victory somewhere as they fall to 0-13. 
From there, we head down south to Tampa to check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Jameis Winston, terrific in the victory as his guys move their record to 9-4 and four on the year. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Detroit Lions. Danny Amendola, a touchdown catch in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game. Yet, they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. Now White throwing on third and long. And that is incomplete. The repairs are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. The Steelers send out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, Spencer. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. 
No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Control on second down. Spencer. And an alley to run. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. On third and two, Spencer. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. This quarterback now 12 of 15 throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll run again with Wilson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Spencer. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. And I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No signal. Yes, it's a safety. So troubles here offensively. I tell you, the noise in this dome, that has got to make it harder for these guys to hear. Sometimes I find myself shouting up here. But you're right. If you can't communicate well or get off the snap count properly, it can cause big problems. And this qualifies as a big problem. And some room to maneuver. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. One thing I can say pretty safely, 
that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. On first down, Spencer. That's into the hands of Edwards. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Wilson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. From the gun, Spencer. Oh, he's going to go for it all. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. The play fake. Now White. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff working right, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Now on second and 13. White under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. From the shotgun, here's White. And Davis has it over the middle. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Now a field goal forthcoming for the Steelers. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back within a couple at 8-6 to six now. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. 
This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case, they blitzed there, but to be honest, I don't know if it would have mattered had they blitzed or not. That run play was going nowhere. Yeah, it's really, really difficult at times to figure out where that defense is coming from. But if you're committed to running the football, you can get people up on those linebackers, right? Those guards don't have to block anyone at the line of scrimmage. They can get up to the second level and create some space. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Operating from the gun, Spencer. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now he's flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Second and five. And he will find his man on the outside. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 42. On first down, Wilson. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the gun, Spencer. Caught by Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. The Cardinals on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Spencer. And this is gonna be incomplete. So they look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So with the Steeler offense on their way out, let's take a look at the playoff picture of the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Back to the air on second down, White. And he comes back with one complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Back to throw, White. And he's got his man on the out route. 
That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Looking to throw. Right. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. 23 yards on the play. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Back to throw, White. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Second and 10. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Steelers on third down. They're at 50%, fourth or eight. This is third and nine. To throw is right. From the ground, he'll throw. No to escape, and he goes down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They're out in front last time. They had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, keep people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. The stop for no gain brings up second and ten from the 20. Throw right side caught by Davis. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. They'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. In the gun, Spencer. And he completes it to Wilson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A gain of 10 first down, Arizona. Could just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating for the gun, Spencer. Wilson's got it complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of two there, second down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they put that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Give him two yards on that play, and they're going to face a third down. On third down, Spencer throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. And we see another pitching catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
Maybe because just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big, big plays for an offense. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. Take it at about the 16. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Steelers are going on offense here, first and 10. And now out come the Steelers. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep, keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Looking to throw again on second down. White is going to flip one out here to his running back. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now White with a first down throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Two minutes remaining, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now, a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Now this throw complete to Washington. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 12 yards that time at Pittsburgh first. He'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That's not the way you're supposed to play. They'll try and run for that first and goal. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 of the 9-yard line. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? A post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. on the Cardinals now. Down 9-8. to eight. A minute 17 remains. Their undefeated season hits in danger unless they can score here as they've got a first and 10. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. He's back to throw. Caught. It's Wilson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. They'll get to the line here. Remember, it's also third down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. 
And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They're up by one. They have the football. The key here just to do anything silly, right, Charles? That's exactly right. You know, all the admonitions as they ran out there. They take care of the ball. Secure everything. Be tight in everything that you do. No let up. No crazy plays. And they can go home with a victory. Let's <laughs> see here if they can do all those things and hang on to this victory. Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images.